What's up everybody, I'm Colleen Ballinger and today, today is a very exciting and emotional day for me as a mother. My son is getting his first haircut. Oh my God. This is a big deal for multiple reasons. One, because it's my first baby and it's his first haircut. But two, because Flynn is known for his hair. Everywhere we go, everyone's like, oh my gosh, your kid's hair, look at your child's hair. Oh my gosh, did you do his hair like that? Everyone knows Flynn because of his hair. So there is some controversy about this topic. My husband does not want to cut his hair. I really want to cut his hair. I love Flynn's hair. It has stuck straight into the heavens since the day he came out of my vaheen. For some reason, the way his hair grows, it just sticks straight up, which is adorable and cute. He just has a permanent mohawk. I love that about him. I'm not going to get rid of his mohawk. It's just getting a little long. It's getting tangled. It's just like a knotted mess. And so we're just going to trim it up. We're going to trim the back, trim the sides. Eric won't let me trim the top. I'm going to see if we can get them to trim a little bit off the top, but Eric is saying, no way, Jose. Anyway, we found a cute little haircut place. I have always dreamt of taking my child to like one of these cute little haircut places where they sit in a little like car or airplane and get their haircut. I am so excited right now, you guys. You have no idea. This is a very big deal for me. I'm gonna keep a little lock of his hair and I'm just so excited and I wanted to take you guys with me. Come join me on my day today as we cut Flynn's hair. Hooray! Are you excited, little boy? Are you excited for your haircut? Bye, you. Yeah. It's not touching this though. Okay, we'll see about you. that. Okay, so let's talk about this. We're not touching the top. Okay, but just a little, natural, little, little trim on the top. Just a tiny no, little no, trim no, on the top. No, no, we, we said not touching the top. Just a little bit. Just the sides. Sides and no. the back. No way. One of these. Whoa. Look at that. That's pretty exciting. You like this car? Should you check out a different car? Do you want the fire truck or the fire truck? This one's kind of because it's just the one. Yeah. My husband is saying we're not allowed to cut the top, so we just need to trim it up around the ears and in the back. I'm gonna blend the top with this side. What do you think of that? Blend the top? See those? As long as it's yeah, still, those little hairs. Yeah, those yeah. little ones can go. Yes. Oh, we got it. We got an okay for the little hairs. <laughs> <laughs> this turns this children is... into zombies. Crisis averted. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yes. nice. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Just a little trimmy trimmy. That was traumatic. Oh, his shoe, of course. <laughs> my phone, too. Do you have my phone? Yeah, your phone. I'm missing a shoe. Do you have the other shoe? Yeah. Y'all, that was not what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it is what it is. This is real life. He didn't like it. It's like he got a nerd makeover. <laughs> but he cute nerd.
Oh man, all right, now that we're in a quiet elevator. That was not what I anticipated. I'm sorry you guys had to see my son cry. I'm really hesitant to put any footage or pictures ever of him sad on the internet, but this was a big moment in his life, and that's just how it went. He cried. I think he was just scared of the sound, and it just set him off, and then it was over. It's okay, he looks handsome. So any other moms out there have a similar experience? Because I've never seen a baby scream during their first haircut before, and I don't know how to deal with that. It was heartbreaking for me to experience. Other moms. Does that happen to you? Did that happen to you? He's fine now. Did we just pass down our hatred for haircuts to him? Because we both hate haircuts. Okay, so to try to cheer up little Mr. Flynn, we've decided to go to a pumpkin patch, see some animals and pumpkins and kids. Let's go. much better. He's taking his nap right now. See? Cute baby taking a nap. We had a lot of fun at the pumpkin patch, but it was really hot, so we came back home. But I just wanted to do a little recap on the situation. That did not go as planned. When we had Flynn, we talked about how much we wanted to show of him on the internet. Obviously, I share my life on the internet. I share everything in videos, on social media. My whole life is out there for you guys to see. The ups, the downs, the good, the bad, the ugly. Flynn's not old enough to make that kind of decision for himself, so it's been kind of a interesting journey figuring out how much to post about Flynn, when to post about Flynn, what types of things to post about Flynn. We're kind of taking it one day at a time and figuring out what feels right for us. I put all types of information out there for everyone to see. Every little bit of my being is on the internet. Well, I mean, not those kind of bits, but you know what I mean. We're taking it one day at a time and discussing it as a couple and as a family, figuring out when we feel it's appropriate to show him and when to not show him. The reason I'm saying all of this is because one of the rules that I made for myself when I had Flynn was that I didn't want to show him crying or sad or in an embarrassing situation. The internet is quick to judge. If once you see a kid crying, immediately you're upset with a parent, you think the parent is doing a bad job, you think the kid is in pain or in danger or something negative is going on. Today I've kind of been thinking about it. I'm like, am I gonna post this or not. This might not seem like a big deal to you guys, but as a mom, everything becomes a big deal. Even though I had told myself I didn't want to show Flynn ever crying, this is part of life. And I don't want to only show you guys the good, perfect moments of my life and my family. I want to show you all the moments. And he's a baby and sometimes he cries. And it's not fair to other parents out there who might watch me to think, well, her baby's always happy and her baby never cries. What am I doing wrong? Or, you know, that, that comparison game is hard to not play in your mind when you're a new parent and I know I look at other parents and I look at other babies and I wonder why or how things are different and if I'm doing things wrong and what I should change and what I should fix so I think the biggest lesson I've learned with parenting is that like you can't plan it, it things are just gonna happen the way they happen and the second you think you can plan something out it goes a completely different way and that's what happened today I was really excited about this video I was really excited to get his haircut and to show it to you guys I thought it was gonna be so cute and it was cute it was just full of of tears and he wasn't in pain he wasn't getting hurt he didn't want that woman touching his head and she kept touching his head and it pissed him off so that's life I guess so I would love to know parents out there or siblings of another kid if you've ever been around a child who has had a complete meltdown at their first haircut or at any haircut please let me know and share the stories below because I'm sure that every other haircut video on the internet of baby's first haircut is them smiling and being cute and sitting in their little car and like giggling and then so cute. And uh, this is another version of that. So today I'm showing you that sometimes my baby gets upset in those moments where everything
everything's falling apart as a parent, sometimes I feel the best thing to do is just go, what are you gonna do? And you just kind of smile and like go with it. And you know, I was comforting him and letting him know it was okay. But at the same time, if I get stressed and I get upset and I start crying, then he'll cry more. So I was like, I'm just gonna smile and giggle and show him that it's all okay and it's gonna be okay. I still had fun, Eric still had fun. And then we went to the pumpkin patch tonight. We're gonna all make dinner together and maybe carve some pumpkins. Thank you guys for watching this video. He got his hair cut, he looks real cute and he's the coolest little dude in the world. He just didn't want that woman touching his head. I feel you, Flynn, I hate haircuts too. Anyway, I'm home from bus tour now. Now, I had so much fun on bus tour. If you came and saw the show, thank you so much. If you didn't, you can still catch me. I'm going to Santa Barbara, Long Beach, San Diego, Nashville, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale. So many cities are coming up. Can't wait, so make sure to get your tickets as soon as possible. If you guys wanna watch my journey on bus tour, there was a lot of drama. You can check out my vlog channel. A couple shows got canceled for dramatic reasons, one of which was that a building was collapsing in New Orleans, basically on top of the theater, and they had to do an explosion the day of my show. So if you wanna check out uh, uh, that journey you can go to my vlog channel subscribe there and watch my daily life and see what uh, my tour was like I love you guys and I will see you next time bye